Have you ever stumbled upon a film that seems to linger in your thoughts long after the credits roll? The 1957 movie Curse of the Demon is precisely that kind of cinematic gem. Its enduring qualities have cemented its status as an everlasting symbol of the industry. But what is it about this classic that continues to captivate audiences, generation after generation? As we delve into the world of Curse of the Demon, we invite you to reflect on your own cherished memories associated with this movie. Did it send chills down your spine on a late night viewing, or perhaps it ignited your passion for the supernatural and the mysterious? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's uncover some random facts about this timeless thriller and explore the reasons behind its enduring appeal. Curse of the Demon is a classic 1957 horror film directed by Jack Turner, known for its supernatural suspense and psychological tension. The story revolves around Dr. John Holden, a skeptical American psychologist investigating a notorious British archaeologist, Dr. Julian Carswell, suspected of practicing dark arts. When Holden dismisses Carswell's claims of a curse, he becomes entangled in a chilling web of supernatural events, marked by eerie runic symbols and a menacing demon pursuing him. The film combines elements of the occult and psychological horror, building an atmosphere of dread and uncertainty. Its enduring impact lies in its ability to evoke fear through suggestion rather than explicit visuals, influencing subsequent horror cinema. Curse of the Demon remains a testament to the power of suspense and the mastery of Jacques Tourneur, leaving a lasting imprint on the horror genre. Jacques Tourneur, the director of the 1957 horror film Curse of the Demon, had a different vision for the movie than the studio did. He intended to keep the demon hidden, leaving it to the audience's imagination. However, the studio insisted on showing the monster in post-production, without Turner's consent or involvement. Turner believed that the demon should have been unveiled gradually, never fully shown. This creative difference between the director and the studio is a notable aspect of the film's production. Dana Andrews, the lead actor in the movie, was so impressed with Jack Turner that he had him direct his next film, The Fear Makers, in 1958. This collaboration between actor and director highlights the impact Turner had on those he worked with. While Curse of the Demon had its own unique qualities, it even made its way into popular culture, being referenced in the opening song of the Rocky Horror Picture Show in 1975. The film left a lasting mark, not just in the horror genre but also in the relationships it forged in the industry, and its unexpected influence in later works. The location for the exterior views of Dr. Carswell's mansion, gardens, and the bridge seat is Brockett Hall, Hatfield, well in Garden City, AL87XG, England. This iconic setting added to the film's eerie atmosphere. Rocket Hall provided the perfect backdrop for the supernatural events that unfolded in Curse of the Demon, enhancing the movie's chilling ambience. The mansion's imposing presence and the surrounding landscape contributed to the sense of dread that permeated the film. This choice of location was a significant factor in creating the movie's enduring impact. The use of real locations in filmmaking can often make a difference in how a movie is perceived. In the case of Curse of the Demon, Brockett Hall's inclusion added an extra layer of authenticity to the story, making the audience feel as though they were part of the unsettling world created by Jack Turner. This attention to detail in selecting the right setting is a testament to the craftsmanship behind the film. The choice of Brockett Hall as a filming location serves as a reminder of how the combination of elements like location, direction, and storytelling can leave a lasting imprint on a movie's legacy. It's a prime example of how every aspect of a film's production can play a crucial role in its ultimate success. Screenwriter Charles Bennett originally penned the script for Curse of the Demon based on Mr. James Story, casting the runes, titling it The Haunted. He sold the script to producer Hal E. Chester before heading to America. However, Bennett regretted this decision as RKO in America wanted to purchase his script and let him direct the film. This choice ultimately led to the selection of Dana Andrews as the lead actor over Robert Taylor. The film, directed by Jacques Tourneur, went on to become a classic of 1957 horror cinema, making a mark on the genre with its supernatural suspense and psychological tension. It remains a testament to the power of suspense and the impact of key decisions made in its production, leaving a lasting imprint on the horror genre. 
Dana Andrews, the lead actor in the 1957 film Curse of the Demon, attributed the story to Oliver Onions in interviews. However, the movie is actually based on casting the runes by Mr. James. This discrepancy highlights the sometimes misunderstood origins of the film's narrative. Curse of the Demon took inspiration from Mr. James' story, delivering supernatural suspense and psychological tension on the big screen. The movie remains a classic in the horror genre, known for its chilling atmosphere and enduring impact. The line of dialogue, It's in the Trees, It's Coming, was sampled and used by Kate Bush for the intro of her 1985 song, Hounds of Love. This iconic snippet from the 1957 movie Curse of the Demon found its way into the music world, serving as the eerie opening for Kate Bush's hit song. It's a testament to the lasting influence of the film's chilling atmosphere. Kate Bush's use of this dialogue added another layer to the legacy of Curse of the Demon, bridging the gap between cinema and music. In the 1957 movie Curse of the Demon, a modern Heathrow airport, just outside London, is shown in the opening scenes. This portrayal of the airport showcased the latest design style at the time, with its stark red brick architecture. Surprisingly, some of the original buildings are still standing in 2022. This glimpse of Heathrow Airport reflected the dawn of the jet age in air travel, marking a significant moment in the film. Stay tuned for more insights into this classic horror movie, Curse of the Demon, as we delve into its fascinating history and production details. Stay with us for the full story. The 1957 movie Curse of the Demon is known for its intriguing history. Before its release in the US, the film underwent changes, including a retitling from Night of the Demon to Curse of the Demon. Furthermore, it was edited down from 95 minutes to 82 minutes. This version was often shown as part of a double bill with other films like The Revenge of Frankenstein or The True Story of Lynn Stewart. These alterations offer insights into the film's journey to reach its audience. So, whether whether you know it is Night of the Demon or Curse of the Demon, the movie's history is a fascinating aspect of its legacy. Curse of the Demon continues to be a classic in the horror genre, offering a unique blend of supernatural suspense and psychological tension. This is just one of the many intriguing facets of the film's story. Stay tuned for more insights into the world of Curse of the Demon, a movie that has left a lasting mark in the realm of horror cinema. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the enigmatic realms of the 1957 classic, Curse of the Demon, I invite you to pause and reflect on the personal connection you forged with this cinematic masterpiece. This enduring tale of supernatural intrigue, shrouded in an atmosphere of suspense and mystique, has touched the hearts of countless viewers over the years. Perhaps you've been captivated by the way it weaves a narrative tapestry of the unknown, or maybe you've been haunted by the lingering questions it leaves in its wake. As you delve into your memories and thoughts about Curse of the Demon, consider the moments that sent shivers down your spine or the scenes that left you with an enduring sense of curiosity. What is it about this film that has left an indelible mark on your cinematic journey? Was it the masterful performances, the spine-tingling special effects, or the subtle art of suspenseful storytelling that struck a chord with you? We encourage you to share your cherished recollections and insights, for it is in these shared stories that the spirit of this film truly comes alive. Let your thoughts and memories become a part of the rich tapestry of Curse of the Demon Enthusiasts, ensuring its legacy lives on for generations to come. Thank you for your time and interest in our cinematic exploration today. Your unique perspective and reflections add depth to the collective appreciation of this timeless classic. Until our next rendezvous in the world of film, keep the memories of Curse of the Demon alive in your heart.